right. I was not allowed white bread when I was really? a kid. I had to have wholemeal or whole grain. Now I eat nothing but white bread. Yeah, and you get so this is- you get so no, he does. He gets so fucking pissy when I bring home a multi grain bread. He's I'm just like, like, what the fuck? Oh, this is absolutely turned into what did your parents tell you you couldn't have that you now only eat? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Um, See, I was allowed to have whatever colouring and stuff. I think the only thing was when we went to McDonald's, she would always order Sprite instead of Coke. So I suppose now I'm more like addicted to Coke and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm addicted I guess to Coke. The, the reason I brought up this topic is because I made a complete dick of myself. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it was this, like, last week or the week before when mum had always told me as a kid, when you die, your ears and your nose continue to grow. And I, I never, was told that too. It's not true. Um, it looks no. like you do, though, because, because really. your skin dehydrates. Yeah, yeah but that's the, what it but is, the yeah. other thing is, is that your your nose and your ears and anything with cartilage in it continues to grow until the day you die. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's why old people have big noses and yeah. big ears. Yeah. Does that does it actually keep growing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Your nose and your ears it, it don't stop growing. It continues growing until the point that you die, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and then obviously with what Tash said, like everything's like kind of sunken in and retarded yeah. looking so it looks like they're bigger right yeah mm. but i i was saying that to like tom and his friends and he was like no 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 that's not oh, true and then i googled you... it and then i looked like a dickhead because all of tom's friends are really smart yeah and i was like hi i went to public school and i tried to know something and i was wrong <laughs> did you like double down on like no yeah. this is a fact and yeah then, i was and like then pretty sure googled, google says it and then you googled it and had to be like uh, oh there's a comedian I was watching or something and it's just like you know like with that with your miso or something and they're like no nah, this is the fact and mm. then it's like well no nah, my phone's having trouble loading and then she goes oh you can use my phone and then you grab it and throw it in the iced tea yeah 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 <laughs> you're like oh whoops oh so we can't check the fact now huh yeah. Looks like, oh well yeah 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 no yeah that's like I've plenty of times I've doubled down on something and then I've been just completely flat just wrong like not at all correct I admit there's a few times with you guys I've done that yeah guys guys, I have a confession to make I don't know everything yeah we knew that but you doubled down still (laughs) the amount of times that I double down on shit oh I know Uh, you and me do it too like you I will admit it I there's so many I'll admit it too I do it as well it's pretty funny though because like I can always tell when Ethan is not completely sure of himself because he'll double down but also put little things in place as like a backup in case yeah. he gets proven wrong. But yes. also but also so we'll you'll, say be like, stuff like... you'll be like, no, that like they definitely have staplers there. But if they don't, we'll have like some at home or something. Yeah. yeah. I was I'll be like, but if they don't, we could go somewhere else. Like, but they <laughs> definitely will have staplers there. But like also like um if anything, we could just get them from somewhere else. I was talking to Tash the other <laughs> yeah, day yeah. and I did some I did that exact thing and she goes, Oh my god, you're doing the thing that Ethan does. And I was like, What do you mean? She was like, You're you're like doubling down on something, but you're you like kind of just you, like not it's like that one. But then that you 1%. double down, but then immediately start backtracking your way out of it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, but like it's, it's, like it's it's because like my initial thought is like yeah we do yeah but then I I, I say it before I even like yeah. run through the process <laughs> yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. making sure we do I'm like yeah, yeah I, know, I know we did once but like it's like yeah we do <laughs> yeah but like now that I'm thinking about it actually yeah. I don't know if we do like, that, yeah that's you'll be exactly like yeah we yeah, have yeah, blue tech yeah. downstairs or maybe we don't or yeah, um yeah, yeah. yeah oh, and no, yeah that's, that's or me. um but but it's not my fault if we don't <laughs> yeah yeah but also like I'm not saying for sure that we do because if we don't then like I don't want to be blamed for it <laughs> but like please don't get mad at me yeah yeah it's like that. Very cancer thing to do of you. No, I'm not cancer. He's, no, no he's I know, scorp- but like it's a it's a cancer thing to do. Even <laughs> that's though you're why not the like star cancer. signs don't actually matter. <laughs> yeah. Well, the only How thing, dare you say that? No, yeah. what I'm getting at is the only thing that they <laughs> I've really, converted Ella into you know a what, believer. You know what I like about them is like the only way. I was way, always a believer. I also have tarot cards. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, my mum was very into that sort of shit. But like, what I'm getting at with the star sign stuff, the only reason like we could also day to day buy mm. into it is because. As we're growing up, especially if you've got influences that are drumming it into you. Yeah. Mm. Scorpios are like this. Scorpios are like that. So yeah. then you naturally start acting like yeah. that. And it's also like, um, I think it's a study done with names. Yeah. Like what your mm. kid's name is. Yeah. That ties into how they are as a person at times. Yeah. yeah. Because they buy into the fucking thing that they've built. Like Ethan, yeah. one yeah. who stands with strength. Yeah. So now I'm just like, yeah. Like yeah. I got her. Yeah. Look at me. The, the only yeah. like Mine's rebuttal. Cool. Sorry. Sorry, mine's called Son of the Right Hand. So am I just supposed to sit on the right or <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I'm on the a, left. You're always on the right of you're me on, on the couch. Right. Yeah. Well, my only rebuttal right. to the yeah. astrology thing is um you're saying you sort of like project it onto yourself by reading it and then you like adopt that. Yeah. Um I've found and like most people have agreed with me, the people who are most like their star signs are people that don't believe in star signs. 
because True. fuck off, none of it's real. Well, because I guess they're not aware of like the stereotypes. Because when you know a lot about your star sign, you're more aware of it. And like, if you've got toxic tendencies, you're aware of it, and then you like sort of change it. Yeah. Whereas like, because it's like, oh, Sagittarius is like commitment phobes, which I'm like, oh, I am kind of a commitment phobe, and then I work on it, and then I'm less of a commitment phobe. Yeah. And then therefore, I'm less like a Sagittarius. No, like I'm not saying they're a bad thing. I'm just yeah, I, yeah. I like them as tools. They're fun to yeah, do. Yeah, but like, like that's just my rebuttal. Is the mo- like it's not very much self project projection because people who don't know about their star sign are the most like the stereotypical yeah. star sign. See, yeah. I I find I find star signs are very similar to something like uh, Harry Potter houses, football teams, or something like that. It's something that you can identify with that you can say this is mine, but someone else can also say this is mine, and in yeah. a way you two can be like. Oh, hey, you're Aries, you're a Hufflepuff, you go for Brisbane Broncos, you know, yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's so a, um, I feel like it's very essential in a society and it's something that naturally happens as well. It's just we, we put each other in boxes where we basically try to identify each other. And it's not, not to say, like, it, it's anything similar to, like, racism or anything like that, but sometimes it can get out of hand in a way that someone automatically sees someone with a certain skin tone and be like, no, you're a criminal. Why do you take it to such a fucking yeah, racist Yeah, why did place? it have to go to, like, <laughs> I racism? Even know what, I don't even know why I went that way. Yeah, one. I don't know where you were going with that. And then you started going racial, and I'm like, oh, I was just talking about, like... You know, like when your parents go, yeah, you're a Scorpio and Scorpios are like this. So then you naturally in school yeah. and you're just like, you're, oh, I've got to act like this. You're, you're, not, because you're, it's, it's like an assigned thing. Yeah. So like, it's like you have, to, not like you have to, but it's like you will. And then because you've read that, you've planted the seed in your brain and then you like subconsciously just start like just acting upon the, the stereotypes of the star sign. And yeah. I like, I, I'm like, if someone was like, hey, Ethan, you're a Virgo, whatever the fuck that yeah. means, I don't know. I'm sure I would act similar to that because I'm like, mm. yeah, Virgos do that. Like, yeah. oh, this is why I'm acting like this. Yeah. And it's like a crutch for you to fall into. And you're like, oh, yeah, you have I'm some, like this because of this. You want to have some kind of but, justification crutch yeah. as to well, why you've that done thing. that thing. Yeah, but it's me like, personally, I'm not like that. I'm more, my upbringing has built me who yeah. I am. And then which coincidentally, just happens to be a which lot. Which coincidentally, like, yeah, that's what I mean. Like that's just, yeah, that's that's just really weird that you also happen to yeah. be a very typical but, Scorpio. But that's what it's like. And for your me. rising sign is this because you were born at this time, but it also is just happening to be this yeah. way. Because that's of that. just me. It's a coincidence <laughs> that the way I was brought up yeah. and the way. Do how you know I, what time you were born, Ethan? It was like uh, I think it was four in the afternoon or something. My parents like are that. still arguing over what time I was born. Yeah. <laughs> One parent said, 5, 11 a.m. Other parents said, 11, 11 a.m. <laughs> and then I asked both parents, so which one is it? And they just yelled at me. So I guess I'll never know. Have you got Leo's your birth certificate? Cool, I don't fucking... Why don't you know? You were no. there. Like, well, your... it doesn't really say your time of birth on no, your birth certificate. It doesn't certificate. say, it doesn't say it the doesn't time. It doesn't say the time. That's weird. Yeah, really? That's weird. Yeah, no, it doesn't say it on mine. No. That's how I found out I was born at 5.36 in the morning. Pretty sure it doesn't say that on mine. mine. How However, were you born? The only consistency. How, how where were you born? Uh, Blacktown, New South Wales. I was born in New South Wales. Mine doesn't have my time. Well, I'm going to go home weird. and check mine because yeah. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm pretty, but sure, I'm pretty sure, sure. I can literally check mine now. Yeah. I could, I could be a having oh. I could be having a uh, Mandela effect, but I'm pretty sure that mine yeah. has the time on it. Well, okay. um... I only know mine was like eleven o'clock at night because my mum like oh yeah yeah had to go at night but like went into labour and just like did she didn't want to do she wanted to do like more of a natural birth in a hospital so like not like painkillers and stuff yeah so instead she just like pumped ten billies before she went in didn't smoking feel, that weed just didn't feel a thing oh I had a kid already huh. straight no. out easy and you like central candles why <laughs> yeah I mean yeah mine looks like that. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm looking at like a, a PDF of my birth certificate because dad has it in Canberra, but mine doesn't have a time. It's got a date, it's got hospital, all the details Does about my like parents. That? Oh, you're a New South Wales one, but... No, mine's a Queensland one. No, I'm talking one. about Ben. I'm looking at Ben because uh, Ben, look yeah. at hers, but don't remember too much of it. Mine's different. Mine's yeah, different Don't different look that. at the numbers. Because <laughs> yours is a New South Wales. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, I didn't have this officially registered until August. Excuse me, parents, what were you doing for, like, oh, no, no. nearly a month? <laughs> no, 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 like, that happens where um, you're born and it's done like that and then the doctors have that data and then that gets sent off. And then for the paperwork to be processed, yeah. for that to get sent back to you. But it's just a registrar. Like, the registrars are, like, the people you see sitting in Chermside. But also, my granddad is a registrar. Like, I don't know why this... Maybe a conflict of interest. Maybe, it's just maybe, maybe your granddad hated you. 